All right, so in this video, we'll talk about the parotid gland. Parotid gland is the largest salivary gland in the body and it is between the ramus of the mandible and the sternocleidomastoid muscle below the external acoustic meatus. All right, so let's start with the capsule of the parotid gland. The capsule of the parotid gland is made by the investing layer of the deep cervical fascia. This fascia splits into two parts. What do part mil split hota hai? A superficial part or a deep part. The superficial part hota hai, it is thick and it is adhering to the gland. It is stuck to the gland. And the deep lamina, it is thin. And one part of the deep lamina, it extends between the styloid process and the mandible. And that is thickened to form the stylomandibular ligament. And this stylomandibular ligament separates the parotid gland from the submandibular gland. So now, Let's talk about the external features. This gland represents a three-sided pyramid whose apex is directed down. Whose apex is directed downwards. So, its apex is downwards, so it means its base is on top. So, this gland has four surfaces. Superior surface, superficial surface, anteromedial surface and posteromedial surface. And these surfaces are separated by three borders. Anterior border, posterior border and the medial border. So now let's talk about all of the relations. So apex, we have already talked about apex is directed downwards towards the neck. So what will the relations of the apex be? Nietzsche ki taraf we have the carotid triangle. So the apex will be related to the carotid triangle. Fir aur kya hoga? Jo facial nerve hai that splits into branches. Aur uski sabse nietzsche ki part which is supplying the neck is called the cervical branch. Cervical means neck. And the third relation would be the divisions of the retromandibular vein. Alright, so three relation ho gai, niche ki baro hai, isi carotid triangle, it is related to the neck, that's why it is related to the cervical branch of the facial nerve and there are two divisions of the retromandibular vein. Now let's talk about the surfaces. Surfaces mein, pehle baat karte hai, superior surface, ya fir base ki. Humne bola ke jo apex hai, it is directed downwards, yani ki base jo hai, wo upar ki taraf direct hoga. So upar ki taraf kya hai? Humne already baat ki, ke the parotid gland is situated under the external acoustic meatus. To uske directly upar kya hoga? Cartilaginous part of the external acoustic meatus. Fir what will the second relation be? The posterior surface of the TM joint. Ke humne ye bhi baat ki, ke it is situated near the ramus of the mandible. To ramus of the mandible hai, to mandible ke saath associated hoga, upar ki side pe TM joint. Thik hai? Fir jo do cheez hai, ek vessel or nerve, Wo upar, it is related to the upper part of the base. What are those? Superficial temporal vessels and the auriculotemporal nerve. Why? Because it is going in the temporal region. Upar ka part hai. It is near the temporal region. So there will be the superficial temporal vessels and the auriculotemporal nerve. Recapitulating, superior surface or base ke kya relation ho gai? Cartilage is part of external acoustic meatus. TM joint, superficial temporal vessels and auriculotemporal nerve. अब बात करते हैं superficial surface की. Superficial surface मतलब की lateral surface. So whenever we talk about superficial in any structure of the head and neck, सबसे ऊपर के बाजू तो क्या आ जाता है? Skin. So what is the superficial thing would be? That will be the skin. उसके बाद आएगा superficial fascia, which has the great auricular nerve. This is very important. That will come later in the clinical. फिर आएगा parotid fascia, which is thick and adherent to the gland. हमने बात की कि जो capsule है, वो superficial part होता है, वो thick and adherent होता है. So, यहाँ पे वो parotid fascia आ जाएगा. And वो fascia के साथ साथ थोड़े lymph nodes आ जाएंगे. Right? Now, let's do recapitulating superficial surface, skin, superficial fascia, great auricular nerve, parotid fascia and the few lymph nodes. Now, we have two surfaces. The anteromedial surface and the posteromedial surface. So let's think about the parotid gland. The anterior part is what is there? There is a mandible, hai, the ramus of the mandible. And the posterior part is what is there? The mastoid process and the styloid process. Right? So what will happen in the anteromedial surface? The mandible and the structures related to the mandible. So the ramus of the mandible, if it is mandible, it will be a TM joint. Hoga. There will be two muscles which will be related to the mandible. Kaun -kaun se? We can remember it by M, the masseter and the medial pterygoid. Right? So, recapitulating, mandible, TM joint, 
masseter and medial pterygoid. Now let's talk about the posterior medial surfaces. So posterior medial surface mein kya hoga? The mastoid and the styloid process and the structures related to that. So mastoid process hai to uske saath saath kya ho jayega? Sternocleidomastoid, right? That muscle and the posterior belly of the digastric and styloid process with the structures attached to it. And one more important thing here, iske posterior medial surface will have the external carotid artery which will enter through the gland uh, in the gland from this surface and how do we remember that is ki posterior matlab thoda deep side ho gaya and jo arteries hoti hai wo hamesha deep mein hoti hai now let's talk about the borders there are three borders anterior posterior and medial border the anterior border separates the superficial surface from the anterior medial surface so yahan pe bahut kuch emerge out hota hai to kya kya emerge out hota hai ek to parotid duct second is most of the terminal branches of the facial nerve and third is the transverse facial vessels one duct nerves and vessels now the posterior border the posterior border separates the superficial surface from the posteromedial surface anterior border separated the superficial surface from the anterior medial surface and now last is the medial edge the or the medial border that separates the anterior medial surface from the posterior medial surface and medial side hai to sabse medial structure kya hota hai neck ka pharynx so it is related to the lateral wall of the pharynx all right now let's talk about the structures within the parotid gland so within the parotid gland we'll have the artery the vein and the nerve so artery mein kaun si artery hogi as we talked about ki jo external carotid artery hoti hai it enters the gland through the posterior medial surface so that artery divides into two branches one maxillary artery second is the superficial temporal artery and the maxillary artery wo horizontally jayegi through and through so it enters from the posterior medial surface leaves the gland through the anterior medial surface and upar wali artery kya hai superficial temporal artery wo kya karti hai that emerges it travels in a vertical direction and emerges in the anterior part of the superior surface right now let's talk about the veins सो so, जैसे ही आर्टरी है वैसे ही साथ साथ में उसके साथ साथ वेन्स हो गए सो वी हैव द सुपरफिशियल टेम्पोरल आर्टरी एंड द मैक्सिलरी आर्टरी सो वील हैव द करस्पॉन्डिंग वेन्स सुपरफिशियल टेम्पोरल वेन एंड मैक्सिलरी वेन वो दोनों जुड़ के फॉर्म करेगी रेट्रो मैंडिबुलर वेन बिकॉज इट्स बिहाइंड द मैंडिबुलर एंड दैट रेट्रो मैंडिबुलर वेन विल डिवाइड इन टू एंटीरियर एंड पोस्टीरियर डिविजन एंड नाउ द लास्ट थिंग विच विल गो थ्रू दी पैरटेड ग्लैन इज द नर्व सो द फेशियल नर्व इट एग्जिट फ्रॉम द क्रीमियल कैविटी through the stylomastoid foramen and enters the gland through the posterior medial surface here it will divide into terminal branches which will exit out from the anterior border so what are the branches they are divided into two types temporofacial near the upper side and cervicofacial near the lower side so temporofacial hai to sabse upar temporal near the uh, forehead region fir hai zygomatic branch near the cheek region then we talk about the cervical facial branch that divides into buccal branch near the mouth marginal mandibular near the chin and the cervical branch near the neck so isko yaad karne ki bilkul zarurat nahi hai because hum face ko imagine kar sakte hain ki sabse upar kya hai forehead forehead mein temporal branch hogi fir cheek hai usme zygomatic branch hogi fir we have the mouth usme buccal branch hogi fir we have the chin which will have the marginal mandibular branch and then we have the neck which will have the cervical branch so these branches radiate like goose feet from the anterior border of the parotid gland and that's why this pattern of branching is called pes ancerinus all right and uh, one more important thing to mention here is the patis facio venous plane so uh, yahan pe kya hota hai ki jo isthmus ka part hota hai which divides the superficial part of the parotid gland to the deep part it is encircled by the facial nerve so that plane is called the patis facio venous plane iska importance hum clinical anatomy mein padhenge now let's talk a little bit about the parotid duct so the parotid duct is thick walled and it emerges from the anterior border so parotid duct kahan se aata hai so we have the buccal branch of the facial nerve buccal branch of the facial nerve ke two divisions hai upper buccal branch and the lower buccal branch and upper or lower buccal branch ke beech mein se parotid duct aata hai so its a superior relation would be the upper buccal branch of the facial nerve and the transverse facial vessels and sometimes the accessory parotid gland as inferior relation kya hoge wo hoga lower buccal branch of the facial nerve All right. So, फिर वो क्या करता है After it exits from the anterior border of the parotid gland, it pierces three bees: buccal pad of fat, buccal pharyngeal fascia, and 
buccinator and it has an oblique course uske baad what happens it where does it open it opens opposite the crown of the upper second molar tooth all right so ye pura uska course ho gaya now parotid gland ka blood supply kya hai it is supplied by the external carotid artery wo andar ja ke divide karta hai to wahi supply kar dega and the veins they drain into the external and internal jugular vein now nerve supply is three types parasympathetic sympathetic and sensory so parasympathetic is from the auricular temporal nerve jo humne already baat ki ke wo jo superior region hai ya fir base wahan se nikalta hai now sympathetic nerves are vasomotor and derived around the plexus from the middle meningeal artery and sensory nerves also come from the auricular temporal nerve now talking about the lymphatic drainage lymphatic drainage is to the parotid nodes and from there to the upper deep cervical nodes now let's talk about the clinical anatomy of the parotid gland so parotid gland mein kya kya ho sakta hai ya to viral infection ho gaya so in that will be called mumps एंड uh, उसका कॉम्प्लिकेशन होगा ऑर्काइटिस एंड जब भी वायरल इन्फेक्शन होगा एंड पैरोटेड ग्लैंड विल एन लार्ज तो बहुत ज्यादा पेन होगा वाई बिकॉज वी टॉक जो कैप्शन ऑफ द पैरोटेड ग्लैंड है इट इज वेरी थिकली अथ्योरेंट सो इट विल नॉट अलाउ स्पेस फॉर द पैरोटेड ग्लैंड टू एक्सपैंड या फिर दूसरी क्या चीज हो गई बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन हो गया दैट इज कॉल्ड अ पैरोटेड एप्सिस या फिर तीसरी क्या प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है ट्यूमर कॉल्ड अ मिक्सड पैरोटेड ट्यूमर earlier it will not involve the facial nerve but later on it can involve the facial nerve the deep cervical nodes and cause a lot of pain and in sab ka treatment hum kya karenge a tumor ka treatment hum kya karenge parotidectomy so parotidectomy we know that the facial nerve it goes deep in the parotid gland it divides deep in the parotid gland so in all of this cases we have to preserve the facial nerve to yahan pe humne baat ki thi patty's facial venous plane ki so jab bhi hum parotidectomy karenge we have to preserve the facial nerve how will we do that we will divide it into two parts so we will take out the superficial part alag se and the deep part alag se preserving the patty's facial venous plane secondly jab bhi parotid abscess ho gaya tabhi hame uska incision karke usko drain karna hoga so incision hum kaise karenge horizontal not vertical because if we do a vertical incision then the facial nerve has a lot of chances of getting damaged and this incision is called hilton's incision and the third thing which can happen is the frey syndrome or the auricular temporal syndrome so we know that there are two nerves which are related to the parotid gland the auricular temporal nerve jo deep mein hai and the great auricular nerve jo superficially hai which supplies the skin so normally kya hota hai ki whenever there is any sort of damage and after that regeneration hota hai in dono nerves ka so these two nerves they start growing together aur unke fibers ek dusre mein mix ho jate hain so whenever there is chewing so at that time the auricular temporal nerve is stimulated to wo kya karega wo ja ke great auricular nerve ko stimulate karega which is supplying the skin so what will that uh, do that will cause hyperemia and sweating and redness so isliye whenever you will chew because the auricular temporal nerve will stimulate the great auricular nerve because the fibers are mixed there will be redness and sweating in the area this is called frey's syndrome that's it for the clinical anatomy